POTS Care is the culmination of over a decade of research and personal suffering. You see, I was diagnosed with POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, over 12 years ago after contracting a virus while overseas. Like many of you, I was completely disabled by POTS and found that it involves so much more than just orthostatic intolerance. Instead, I ended up with extreme and chronic fatigue and weakness, GI problems of every type, brain fog with no short-term memory, headache and neck pain, difficulty breathing, and episodes of shaking and tremulousness that looked almost like seizures. At my worst, I had over 80 symptoms and was desperate for answers. One thing I knew without a doubt, this was not a psychosomatic illness. I could not meditate nor biofeedback my way out of this condition, nor was diet or deconditioning to blame. No, this was a medical illness, and I was on a mission to figure it out. For the first three years, I went everywhere for help, seeing dozens of doctors and kept thinking that if I just saw the right doctor, I should be able to get the answers I needed. I ended up at the Mayo Clinic and participated in three of their clinical trials for POTS, certain that they would figure it out. But after they ruled out problems with my heart and other conditions known to cause dysautonomia, I was left with a diagnosis of idiopathic POTS and the doctors concluded I was normal, but just more aware of my own bodily functions. I realized then that the doctors truly didn't understand my condition and I was incredibly disappointed. When our eight-year-old son then developed POTS and was too ill to attend school, we were even more motivated to get answers. So my family and I pulled together and created genetic disease investigators to formally study idiopathic POTS and its related conditions. If you haven't seen our research page on POTScare.com, please take a look. Because I'm an optometrist, we began by looking inside of the eye for what we thought may be going on and saw evidence of problems with intracranial pressure, vascular inflammation in many of the patients. That ignited further studies into chronic inflammation, endocrine disorders, immunological issues, and vagus nerve problems. Looking back now, we see how my background in ocular disorders was not a limitation, but was actually advantageous in getting some answers. Please know, though, that this was a difficult, frustrating, expensive, and exhausting journey. But we can see now that it was worth it. We now have the rather complicated diagnostic and therapeutic algorithms needed to help us get answers as quickly as possible for you. Sadly, as patients, we're not all alike. But there are many commonalities among us contributing to idiopathic pods commonalities that are getting missed. It's our goal at POTS Care to dramatically shorten your journey for answers and to hopefully save you a lot of money and much suffering in the long run. Much too much is getting missed in POTS patients and we are here to change that. If you suffer with POTS, please call our office to see if you qualify as a patient. I am here to tell you that there are often ways out of this condition if we can locate the medical problems causing them. My kids and I can attest to that. No matter your diagnoses and health journey, my friends, I wish you well. Gentle hugs to you all.